Hey guys, this is Forsaken Reality here with the seventh episode of the Remnant tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to be setting up the zoom in, in and out of our uh, camera when we aim and unaim, and we'll also be finishing up the few loose ends of our aiming movement. So without further ado, we will get into that. The first thing we're going to want to do is open up our character blueprint and in here we want to go to our input graph and our aiming and we'll just comment this aiming and toggle off that and from here we want to First thing we're going to do is we're going to set our speed when we're aiming and not aiming. So when we aim, we're going to run the server update speed event. And right here is what, what our speed value will be when we're aiming. So I'm just going to set this to 150. So I'm going to copy that and paste it down here. Control C and Control V. And if we stop aiming, we're going to set our speed back to our walk speed. It's going to move that up there. I'm actually going to promote this to a variable just so we have a variable for it. Now we have an aim walk speed variable that we can adjust. Over here. It's the aim walk speed. So uh, now that we have this done. We are checking if we're setting the aim, and now we want to create the zoom. So I comment this, update movement speed when aiming. Okay, from here, we're going to want to right click and create a timeline. We're going to use this to smoothly move between our camera. Just going to name that aim. I'm going to set the length to 0.25. I'm going to create a function uh, float track. And I'm going to just close out of this aim template and open it back up. Actually, one minute, I gotta add some key values first. And I can set this to zero and zero. And this is the value of one. And this is where I want to reopen it and we'll adjust the graph. 0.25. So this is how, the 0.25 is how long it takes to get there. I'm going to rename the track to time. And it's moving from a value to zero to one or from a value to from one to zero, basically, to determine if we're aiming or, or not. So it'd be used to set the um, interpret the yeah, delta time. When we're aiming and not aiming, so we're gonna play this from the start. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, we're gonna want to right click, set field of view, layer camera. So when every time this updates, it'll update every tick for the duration of 0.25 seconds. And it will move from a value of zero to one. So we want to break out of here and go F and Terp two. And this is our 
time and the interp speed. Um, I'm gonna drag out my clamp, float. I'm gonna clamp the speed between 0.1 and 10. And the value is gonna be I'm going to create a variable for the speed of the aiming. I'll put that in the aiming category. Compile. And we're going to set this to 1. We're also going to set a slatter range from 1 to 10. So point 0.1 to 10. So basically, now we can only drag this from a value of 0.1 to 10. I'm going to set this at 1. And plug this into our set the field, our view. Um, so to get our ver current value, we are going to get First, we're going to drag out and promote this to a value. And we're going to name this default field of view. And I'm just going to organize this a little bit more. And for our target, actually, first, we're going to want to set this default value. And we're going to just set this on the in play. And the way this is going to basically work is after we spawn our weapons, we will get our player camera. We will set the field of view. And whatever this value is set right here, our player camera's value will be. It's going to default this to 90. So now we can set this up however we want. the graph we get him back here now <clears throat> to get our target we're going to want to set this per weapon because we're going to want to depending on what weapon we're going to use we're going to use a different field of use when we go to our blueprints data structures and weapon data and we're going to create a new variable and this variable will be called Aimed field of view. And now we're, when we go into our data table, we have a variable for aimed field of view here. I'm actually going to move that up a couple. So now it's right here. And on our rifle, we're going to set this to 90 or 60. Pistol, we'll set this 75, just have a little bit of a difference. Now to get that value here. First thing I'm going to do is organize this a little bit, drag that out some. And 
we are going to get our weapons and we're actually going to want to set which weapon we currently have equipped equipped so we're going to want to go to our event graph and our spawn weapons and currently we only have it we don't have our switching weapons set up yet when we switch when we set that up yet we will change which weapon is our equipped weapon but basically we want to just duplicate one of these variables and call it equipped weapon I'm actually just going to plug this in like that. <clears throat> so now it's setting the equipped weapon to the, our primary. So now this is being set in our input graph. Um, We want to get our equipped weapon. Get our weapon data for the currently equipped weapon. And we're going to break this. And we'll have our aim field of view. I'm just going to plug that in there like that. Let's put a quick up in here. And when we're on aiming, we're just going to play this in reverse. And also we can just save and compile on success only. So when you compile, you won't need to always be clicking the save as well. This is basically just interprets the speed between the timeline. And that should be it for this. Just gonna test this out, see how it's working. And there we go. Setting the field of view to 60. And just to test it out, I'm going to set it to 80. There we go. Every field of view being set. And we also have our movement speed being set. But our leg animations don't really match that, so this is why we're going to create a couple new ones. Animations, character animations, blend spaces. And I'm going to rename this sprint to rifle sprint because we're going to have a different one for other things. Just fixing up redirectors just in case. And we're going to want to blend space on a folder. I don't know why I did that. Master skeleton ds underscore rifle aimed movement. We're just going to search iron site. First, we're going to put in our values over here. Horizontal is direction. Negative 180. 180. And 
point two. Now backwards, forward, right in the center, left and right. We have our aimed locomotion animation. We can go to our master animation blueprint and atom graph locomotion jog. Give it a quick comment. And we're going to delete this. And we're going to pull in our rifle aimed animations. For our lower body. So now we have a jog or sprint. And when we aim and slowly walk, we on aim will do this. So there we go. That's our zoom in and our animations for aiming fixed up for the most part now. Also, one more thing. You don't want it snapping to the zoom in so fast. Simply, you want to go to your aimed blend and it's blending between the, this is the time between unaimed and aim blending. So we can just set that to 0 0.2 or even higher if you want for our jog. And we'll also go into our idle. Set that to 0.2. Compile and save. And some more f smooth zoom in and out. Uh, that's going to be everything for this video. If you found this video helpful and want to see more, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything else. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, feel free to leave those in the comments below or join our Discord community. It's slowly growing. We're reaching 200 members now, I believe. And uh, if I'm not around, there's definitely some helpful people in there that would definitely be willing to answer your questions from what I've seen. And who knows, maybe you'll be one of those people helping people out. Uh, thank you, and I'll see you all in the next episode.